Hey, welcome to another edition of How to Make Cartoon with your host, Ray, the actor, kind of, <laughs> and the character of Squirrel Nuts, uh, the main character, Ray. Well, one of the main characters, Dan, he's the other main character. Anyway, yeah, I know it's been taking a long time for us to put, put our new production out, but it takes a long time, especially in animation. Um, it just takes a long time to even just create a couple of seconds. And I'm the I'm the main animator, and you know, get a little help. Hey, thanks, Clint. Hey, he's a director, producer, owner of the Nuggets. A cartoon is coming out. His name's Clint Smith. So check it out. Thanks for your help, Clint. Uh, you gotta follow your passion and, and do what you love, right? And that's what I'm doing now. So today I'm uh, creating another scene, and hopefully I'll have it done in about a couple weeks. Not the scene, but the whole cartoon, because I'm really working on it hard now. And I'll keep you guys up with uh, tutorials. Uh, well, not tutorials, but kind of, yeah, they are tutorials, but they are also showing you um, how to create an animation series um, and uh, just the progress of making it. So anyway, so let's get started. Now, switch screens, and I'm going to share my um, animate screen. So you'll just see me a little pop up right here i'm gonna move that down so what i did right now is this is a, a scene very beginning scene is where um ray the squirrel is um upset because he lost his nuts and berries and it's kind of a symbolic uh a reference from the last cartoon um it just means that if you don't take care of your body and you don't and you just choose you know things that aren't good for your body you're gonna lose some stuff uh health wise that you're going to regret. So that's what this car, this little sex is about. Anyway, so what I did is I have found this. Um, and also don't recreate the, the wheel. Um, if you can find something, some anime that you could follow, do that. That's what I did with this one. I really like the complainer. And this is um in assets in uh, animate. And I'm just following this complainer and I'm recreating the, the scene. And how I'm doing that is I'm just um, draw, redrawing my character. And um, just following the movements of of, uh, of the complainer, so here here we go. And let me show you real quick here. Then this is there's so many things going on right here. This is how I rigged it, and I'll go into that later on. But here's a bot. Here's a complainer right here. If I turn it off, you wouldn't see him anymore. So I'm gonna erase him later. But I'm just following him now. So here we go. I'm just right now. I just followed the kind of the movements, and um. I'm now I got to do the actual uh, details of the movement. So I did that. I created that. I actually copied his uh, his mouth, so I don't have to redo it. But I probably might have to redo it. And the way you see the movement of the mouth right there on the complainer, he is. Um, it's probably a and right here I got. <laughs> well, it's okay because it was another copy that I, that didn't go through, but. Um, he has something called um it's like nesting so that's why the mouth is moving cool like that and i'm going to show you how to do that today too if we have enough time but here we are so here he is he's complaining right here i actually was able to copy the mouth of the movement so I, i'm not going to redo that i think that's fine um so we're going to go down here i'm going to play it one time take a look at it and also the scene in the background is going to be different so here he is it looks funny but not as cool as um as the complainer looks, but I'm going to fix that. Okay, so here we are. Um, so he moved like that. He's kind of rocking back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, and you always want to lock most of your layers because if you don't lock them, sometimes you grab stuff and um, uh, on another layer and you're like, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do, a move. And it just messes everything up. Or you might draw on that layer. So I always lock it and you just lock it. You could lock all of them like that. You could unlock them like that. You can also um, change, like if you don't want to see some of the layers, then you could just turn it off like that or just turn them off individually. So here we are. Okay, so started like that. It comes up here. It does that. It's movements like that. It's not the, exactly the same, but that's okay. And you notice right here, so sometimes the leg just jumps. And if it jumps, um, you want to fix that. So I'm going to go up to leg, make sure which one that is. So it's that one here. I'm going to grab here. This is the um, anchor point. And again, this is a quick and dirty. 
But usually you want to rig everything, and I did, but it just didn't work. I mean, sometimes it just does funky things like that. So here we are, and we're going to go here. And you notice this shows up here, but that's okay. I'm going to erase that later. That was from another graphic. Here he is. So he's complaining. Um, that cool movement of him rock, rocking back and forth. I'm going to do that right here. And I'm actually I'm following his exact movement. Well, trying to anyway. So he right here. So he moves back like this. I'm going to grab the whole character by just grabbing um selection tool. And did I lock the folder? Uh, I got to lock that because if I grab that, I'm going to. If I don't lock that, I'm going to grab that, um, the complainer too. So I'm just going to left click and hold down, grab them all. There we are. And I'm going to use actually the free transform tool because I'm going to rock him this way. Oops. And sometimes that happens. So you just go edit, undo, rotate. It's funky that way. Sometimes it just won't let you do anything. So I instead of that, I'm just going to go like this. Make him go this a little bit that way. And I'm going to bring his, again, I'm going to move this, um, his anchor point right here. So then wherever I move, wherever it rotates, it's going to rotate the way I want it to rotate. So I'm going to put his arm like that. Um, and now you see why it takes so long. Oops. Go right here like that. So now I have more movement. It goes like this. And it's you see how it just jumps? It's because I haven't tweened it yet. But I'll show you how to tween it. Okay, let's see here. So he goes like, and he rocks actually a little more. So I'm going to move his body just a little bit more that way. And then I'm going to move his legs. And always you just want to click on the stage to deselect it. Okay, here we go. But shoot, this is where it gets kind of funky. So um, click shift and you'll be able to grab everything. And then you move this anchor point. And I'm going to put his foot down here. Oh, it didn't work. So see what happened is I didn't grab everything. So I'm going to go edit again, rotate. I'm going to keep shift down. Okay, now it has everything. And I'm going to move this anchor point here again. And put his foot like that. And, you know, it's not exactly like, um, I'm going to keep shift again. It's not exactly like, um, boom, yes. Like the complainer, because, you know, I wanted to make it a little different, right? I don't want to copy 100%. And I get that looks good. Okay. So here we are. It comes up like that. He's going to lean, he's gonna lean back even more. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to have him move. Lean back a little bit more because he is just in pain. He is complaining. Um, notice that his arm, his his um head didn't move, so I'll probably have to move his head. But you know, it's a cartoon, so you could just uh, you don't have to unless it looks really awkward. Um, it might, huh? So I am gonna change that. So again, again, I'm just moving these anchor points. Usually, you don't move the anchor points all the time. Um, but in this case you do, cause I'm doing something fast and dirty. Okay. So he goes here like that. You know what? That doesn't look too bad. So I'm not. And again, if it doesn't look, if it looks pretty good, just leave it. Because if you're the only animator and you're making a whole animation series, um, it's going to take you 10 years because, um, uh, everything is, you just, um, you can't do every specific detail all the time. Because it's just not going to work. So I'm just kind of scrolling to, through this um, um, using the uh, blue pointer. And I'm lift clicking right on the timeline. So I'm just dragging to see each scene. And it looks okay. Um, what I don't like is I don't like that there's a stroke on his um, head. So I might have to. And the stroke is the outline of the character. And he, my characters usually like that, but because in this one, I kind of drew, drew him really fast and I just used uh, the um, the classic brush tool on his arms and his legs. He doesn't have a stroke because it's just like a line. I mean, it's just like a pen, right? So I'm going to go like this and I think I'm going to take his stroke out in the head. So I'm going to go right here. And you can do that. You uh, control plus, so you get a really close look up. 
I'll hook up here and then I'm just gonna double click and you see how I grabbed all of the um, outline of the stroke I'm just gonna click delete and it's gone now okay so that looks way better and I, hopefully I don't have to do it on each scene but I probably do let's see yeah so go here and I'm gonna leave the ears because that's not that's I mean you can't really tell so right here stop right here on this keyframe here again I'm gonna double click oops you don't want to do that just go undo edit mode and then you click here again oh it won't let you do it because you have to break apart and I'm not gonna mess with that because if you break apart sometimes it becomes a big mess and then you have to redo everything over and like this is such a just a really fast scene that I'm not gonna do that so I think that's okay. This I'll do it where I can. Um, let me see. Click on here and see if I could just grab. Okay, great. So I'm just going to double click and delete. Uh, let's get control minus. So you can see what I'm doing. So that's okay. So it didn't have it. It had it here, but it's going to be so fast that people aren't really going to see it right here. Um, except other artists are going to say, "Dude, come on! You got to do everything 100 percent because uh, the quality." Well. When you're just doing your art and you love your art, sometimes, um, and you want to get your message out, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And if that means, um, you know, it's half a second right here, not even a second, it's a half a second, um, five frames, he's going to have his stroke. That's all right. So it looks better now because you see how, um, here, right here, stop at the strokes here. See how um, it now it blends in all together. It doesn't look like a separated. It kind of looks cooler. Okay, so go here. I think it looks cooler. And I'm the director, so it's okay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to keep on moving. I'm just going to take away, like I said, all the, um, these are the strokes. And if you see right here, I can actually, um, if I say if I wanted the stroke or I wanted to make it just different, I could actually change the sizes here. So that's cool. Um, I could even change the color. Maybe I could even change it to the color of the squirrel, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to delete it because I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Okay, so here we are. He is sure complaining and I hear perfect. I'm so happy that most of the scene, I'm able to do that. And I'm working in my little office and it is so effing hot. So if I look like I'm on drugs and I'm sweaty, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, it's just really hot in here and I don't have air conditioning. Okay, delete. I'm not rich like you guys. Okay, let's see here, but I will be, maybe, someday. <laughs> if you like my cartoon. All right, so I'm here, double click. Again, delete and come in again. Uh, remember I'm lining it up and you see it's lining up with the face. And that's the main one. Um, it doesn't matter about these guys here. I could take out the stroke, but I'm not. I'm just going to double click again. Delete. And perfect. This is great. If I could do this one here. Oh, this is so awesome. You see, so instead of being upset and saying, oh, no, that's I'm going to break that apart. I didn't. I was able to. I just kept it. So that's fine. So the next part, what I'm going to do, and I think it looks good. Let me go back down. And bring him up. And this, I'm always hitting control plus on my PC. I think it's control command on your Apple. And um, just to zero in and to, to go inside and then come out. That makes sense. Um, okay. So let me play it. Let's see how it looks. So it looks good. It's still not that fun movement, but it's still wacky. Oh, shoot. One didn't work. Let's see here. There it is right here. Go back up. And I think when I, I put in the um, the tween, the tween is kind of, it, it creates the images um, with the, the movement. Like say if somebody was walking, it creates a movement from, not really the movement, but like if the arm was moving and you had the arm up here and then you had the arm down here. So it's going to create all the frames in between. So that's why you use tween. Uh, sometimes it's funky. Sometimes it doesn't work um, as good as you want it, but... So that looks cool. That's funny. Let me just play it. Take a look again. So he's moving like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to 
There we go. So that's good. So he still needs to shake. So there's a lot of movement I still have to do. So I'm going to go here. Okay, so he moves here. Oops, let's stop him. Uh, just pick pause. Go up here. And and also this here, I love here. Let me put it. I love this part here. That really creates a really cool feel to it. And I might um, I think I might have to recreate it. But let's just see. I love it because it really emphasizes that he's sad and upset. And you see how his mouth is moving again. That's going to be an imbe That's going to be a nesting kind of um, a uh, graphic. Okay, if that makes any sense. Okay, so here we are again. So let's go. Okay, move back right here. He kind of moved forward, but that's okay. I'm just going to have it move like that. And it jumps like this. So I think if I tween it, it's going to show me like that. And his arms go up. Okay, so he goes down. Okay, his head goes all set, all crazy like that, but that's okay. It's as funny as a cartoon. And then why? Okay, so I like how he's going down. Okay, I like that. So instead of, and I, I like how his head, his, instead of him um moving forward like that his his um his feet are like boom boom like oh oh like he's so upset so that's okay i mean we still have interesting movement he puts his arm his leg up so you know you still have to there it is okay click delete okay perfect still have to have a little originality right so i like that so i think that's cool it's still like oh i'm so sad so that's good so i'm gonna click save um let's there's another cool part that i i liked here um okay so he has his arms that's fine uh let's see here but i like when he shakes his arm right i think it's here why me why me okay let's see here so comes up do i have it up oh no okay so let's go here and then right here i'm gonna have his arms click on his arms i'm gonna move these guys again why me why am i suffering so much here we go go down why me Okay, <laughs> this is so funny. I loved, I love the um the complainer. He's hilarious. It's like, oh man, and we've all been like that, right? We've all been. God dang it, why me? Okay, here we go. I was actually ripped off by someone who said, "Hey, dude, I want you to do some art for me." Turns out he was just full of crap, which really sucks for an artist because you are um you know you're relying on making some money so you could keep doing your art. And if when somebody tells you they're gonna pay you and then they don't, and it's just a scam and they're just ripping you off, you're like, oh, that really sucks. That just sucks so bad. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of keeping, um, creating that, that waving kind of, oops. When you ever, that happens, all you do is just go edit, undo, move. I mean, there's a, there's a, um, I'm sure there's a uh, a uh, a little um, what is it called when you just hit one of the numbers or something a, a really quick. I forgot what it's called, but I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure there is something like that, but I just I just don't use it. You know, you do what you what you what you're used to if it works for you. Maybe that's why it takes me so long, huh? So I'm gonna go here, and as soon as um, that function comes to my head, how you, um, quick key, smart key, something like that. Okay, let's go here, bring it up a little bit more. He's really saying this sucks. So go here, bring that up again. So he's waving. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay. And that's good. Okay. You notice if, if we go back to the complainer, do you see how his body is like moving in and out, moving in and out? So that's a whole nother nesting movement. Um, I could do that, but I think it's okay like this, you know? So here we go. I'm still going to continue to move his. And these are the different frames here. And if I wanted to go really into detail, I would move this pillar right here. And it actually tells me, okay, um, what frame? Uh, it just actual individual frames, which is cool. So. 
I'm gonna here I'm at, at 130 frames, which is four and a half, 135 frames was four and a half seconds. Move this down here again. And you know, I love animation because it's just sometimes like if you're a film director, oh man, you gotta tell the characters where to move and everything. And in animation, you can do whatever you, you know, your vision comes and you don't have to tell anybody give any anybody direction you just kind of show the direction so here we go that so this is looking really good so let me go back up again up again i like that it looks funny here like this and again i'm moving the anchor points and originally when you make your puppet you don't have to move that anchor point all the time because your puppet's going to be um it's almost like piecing and back in the old days and I'm probably dating myself, but you would put little paper clips in between a, a paper puppet. And that was like their um, their places where they could revolve and move and stuff like that. This is kind of the same thing. It's like a little paper clip. And um, you just got to adjust it and make sure. Because like if I was to turn it right here, look what would happen. Oh, man, that doesn't look that good. But if I go down here. And move it up. I think I had it like this. Put it like that. Let's make it dramatic. Um, then it looks a lot better. And that's what you want to do. You want it. That thing's super important to um, your little anchor points. There we go. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, let's. Why me? Okay, bring it back down. Why did someone rip me off? This is exactly how I felt when I found out the guy was ripping me off. <laughs> because you know I had bills to pay, but that's all right. Okay, so here we go. Bing, he's all, oh no, look, oh no. Oh, my life is ruined. Um, So I think I'm going to move his arms a little bit more. And it's going to go, oh, no, my life. Oh, no. Oh, the misery. Oh, I'm so bummed. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. This and that and that and this, this and that. You know, he's almost talking just by his uh, movement. Um, He's almost saying this just effing bites a big one. And, you know, I might not even need that because... The way <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> and I'm probably going to put, you know, since the squirrels, every time they get upset, I, I use a, a voiceover of a squirrel just uh, chirping away. So I'm probably going to do that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so then at the very end, he goes, oh, man, defeated. So let's do that. So he's down here, and his body's going to go down. Oh, no, I'm defeated. And it's, let's move his... Let's see his head. Let's move his head a little bit more this way. And I'm just using the um, arrows. Oh, you see when that happens, sometimes stuff gets screwing around and it messes up. So I'm just going to keep it like that because, you know, it's silly and it's fast. It's a fast one. Okay. Here. And you notice now his arm is kind of off. So I'm going to go back to his arm. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make sure that I'm in his arm level. Which one arm? is that arm? And I'm going to hook them up again because um, I'm going to use the, oh, there's no, there's no keyframe. So that's great. So I'm going to move this here. I'm going to move his arm just a little closer to his body here and bring his arm all the way down. No, oh, oh, why? No, 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 why? Okay, here we go. So he saw, I didn't. No, I thought I could trust him. I thought he was real and appreciated my art. I'm so... Okay, there we go. So, oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe we should do something with his feet, huh? Let's see. So he goes here. Oh no. So let's go back up. Let's go back to the beginning. So he's like that. He turns his body right here when he does that. Let's uh, remember, just click anywhere on stage. 
and I'm going to grab his foot. I'm going to click. I'm going to shift because I want, look, they all have different anchor points, but it's funny when you grab all of them, it's like one main anchor point. And um, when I talk about rigging more, I will show you what that means exactly. Because you're probably like, anchor points, what the blanket, what are you talking about? Well, it's um, it's how you rig your person. It's like how you keep your puppet together. Okay, let's go. So he was, oh no, and his nose went away. But that's, you know what? That's all right, because I didn't even notice it until now. But that's all right. So here we go. Maybe he's so upset his nose fell off. All right, so here we go. I didn't know. Okay, that looks good. Um, that looks good. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to control minus. So you take a look and let's see both of them moving. Oh, no. Okay, that's... <laughs> I think it works great. <laughs> okay. So that's cool. Okay, so let's go back. Um, now what we're going to do is we have to, you see the movement of the mouth? And I think that really adds to it. I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to click save. I am going to lock everything up except for the mouth. And I believe, let's see here, it's the same mouth. I believe, is that the mouth? I'm going to, and you always, you could check with just turning on the um, the eyeball. Yeah, that's the mouth, and it's hooked up together. Darn it. Um, that's okay. On that first scene, it is. But later on, you see how the eyes disappear, too, because they're both hooked up together? Um, that's okay, because only for the first beginning section. When I switch to the other ones, they're not hooked up. The eyes are, are um, in different uh, layers, and I want that, because if I want to mess them, um, change them or move them. But that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go with the mouth. I'm going to hit this mouth, and I'm going to make sure. Okay, so again. With the mouth. I'm going to click one time. I'm going to double click on the mouth. Double click on the mouth. And when I do, it takes me into, you see this? It takes me into a movie cycle or nesting or something like that. I don't know the exact phrase. And right here, so I'm going to zoom in even more. I want to create movements of his mouth getting bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. So I'm doing that within a nesting animation within that main animation. So here's the size right now. I'm going to go to um, frame number two, and I'm going to grab his mouth, and I'm going to make it smaller. Then I'm going to go to frame number three. So here we go, big, small, and I'm going to make it big again. I'm, film. I'm just going to click on film on um on um, this right here, which is your uh, frame. Click again, and I'm gonna make it bigger like that. Okay, so I'm gonna continue, boom, so it's gonna be like that. And I know it's a little, ha but it doesn't matter. That should be okay. So that looks, it looks like um, the tongue got cut in half, but that's all right. So here, okay, so it's gonna be going, oh no. So it's up like this, small, up, and it's gonna be playing over and over again. So that and then and it's I think that's good. So let's go look at it. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the main scene. And I'm gonna click anywhere. Okay, so let's see. So he's just moving. Okay, that's good. So it gets smaller too. Okay, so let's do that too. Let's make it smaller because it looks like it gets smaller too. So I'm looking at the complainer right now. And it looks like it gets smaller too. So I'm going to go back again. Click on the mouth. Double click. There we go. So he goes here. It gets like that. Then it gets even smaller here. Click on here. And I'm going to make it even smaller like that. Okay. Like that. Then I'm going to make it. Grab them again. I'm going to zero in, actually, so I could get some really cool stuff going. And it's always good to work higher. Oh, you see? This is what happened. The um, the whole mouth, like this stuff, is, is moved. So I could just grab that. Grab that all together. Grab it here. Grab, grab. And I could just bring that up like that. Grab this here. 
I'm bringing that up, and I think I got to control plus even more because then that that funky thing happens, and you don't want that. Okay, so let's just do that. Um, and I'm going to make it actually bigger. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but it still looks all right. And it's just so fast that you can't really see it. And again, like I'm really working on, um, there we go, on borrowed time because I have so much other stuff to do. I got to actually, there we go. Oh, shoot. So that happens sometimes too. Um, what you do is just get your black. Oh, gosh. Edit, undo. So you see? That's why everything takes forever. I got to deselect it. So I'm going to deselect it. Um, I am going to click again, black fill, and I'm going to black fill. Okay, there we go. So that's cool. So boom, boom, boom. Um, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Deselect it. And I'm going to go with this little eyedropper to get this color. And then it automatically um, turns on the bucket. I just paint it. Okay, so that's good. So, dun, dun, dun. and the next one, let's grab, let's make sure we grab everything. Grab everything. Go, and let's make it big again. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. He's so miserable. Okay, there we go. Control minus. Uh, What is that? Oh, that's his other... Darn it. So let's just keep it up here so we don't see that. Okay, so he's going to be all, uh, uh, uh. So I'm going to have to erase this guy. You see this right here? That's his nose. I mean, that's like the line uh, with, which uh, connects to his mouth. I don't really need that for now. So, okay, here we go like that. And then back again. So it went small, hmm, like that. Hmm. And let's end it with uh, the mouth getting completely small. And again, I'm always um, left clicking and holding down. Left clicker, grabbing that. Boom. And I'm going to make this tiny, tiny. Because what I'll do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase this part here. Here it is. Okay, that's good. So, okay. So let's go back and look at it. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go to his face. Let's lock this for now. And let's go down to his face because I think I'm going to... And that's going to timeline. I grab face. I'm going to unlock it. And I'm just going to get rid of this here. I'm just going to click delete. I don't really need it. Okay. So, oh, but got to do it here too. So you just got to go in there and just delete it wherever you see it. Creates a little keyframe. Okay, that's good. Good. Okay, so his mouth is moving here. He's still complaining. Oh, it affected everything. You know what? That's okay. Except for this guy here. So this effect, let's go back. That's good. I like that. Is that moving still? Um, let's go to this mouth here. And it, the reason why is because when you break apart, it's not that the, it's not the same symbol anymore. It's kind of a different symbol. So you got to make it into a sim graphic symbol. Um, if you don't do that, um, what happens is that if you edit or you do something else within that symbol, it um, will it will um, it won't transfer it won't transfer the actions to that new symbol. Does that make sense? I'm even confusing myself, but I'll show you. <laughs> so you see, for example, see these guys here like this mouth here, this mouth still has the um, the actions, the, the nesting action that I created. But when I go here, that is that has an old uh, nesting re um, reaction that was created by the complainer. But when I go here, these are just, there's no nesting action. You know why? Because there's only one frame. So I might have issues with that unless I... Uh, move to these key. I'm looking at these keyframes right here, and oh God, see you got to also pay attention to what you're doing. So here's my mouth. So this is the mouth that I'm working on here. Let me make sure if it is. No, this is a mouth that I'm working on here. So if I was to unlock it and touch this mouth, yeah, 
that's a mouth right there. You see how it highlighted? So I know it's a mouth. So that's a mouth I'm working on right now. It still has movement right there, just a little bit, and then no movement there, and then movement here. So you know what? I'll just I'm gonna double click on this right here. There we go. And I'm gonna double click on this mouth. I'm gonna add some movement, and I'm I'm sure there's not gonna be any movement, and it's gonna um affect everything forward, nothing backward, but everything forward. Double click. Oops. Double click. Oops. Double click. Oh gosh, why isn't it working? Double click. Oh, I guess sometimes you can't do it, man. And I don't know why. Let me double click again. Yeah, well, let me go in there. Um, I don't know why. Oh, because it's already still a movie. So I guess so. I can't really do that. Darn it, that really bites. That's okay. So I, because I'm what I did is I'm working within the complainer that's already a movie, and um, um, so sometimes you can't do stuff anymore because stuff is set. So that's okay. You know, I don't think I can move his his uh mouth anymore. Let me see. Minus. Uh, let me go again and see if I can move his mouth at all. Double click. Nope. Well, let me do it. Let's go here. Double click. Nope. Here. Now I could go and recreate the mouth, but I don't want to do that. See, and it's, yeah, it doesn't. Nope. I think in this one, though, that I can. Let's see. Wow, you can't do it. Okay. Now, if I hit this, I'm afraid to hit that. If I hit that, what's going to happen? No, I think this is within. Okay, so we're good. So that's good. I'm just going to keep this for now. So we are done, I think. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add the tweening, the magic. And so here we are. He's moving. And just... It's good. I might add that other stuff, but I am actually going to do that after. It's tricky when you work with other people's models is that something might just screw up and that's when you're jacked. So sometimes you want to just uh, leave well enough alone and just um, use what you have. Okay, so here we are. He's good. Um, let's add the tweening now. And we're going to erase a complainer. Okay, so let's start adding tweening. So I'm going to add tweening right here. I'm going to add no tweening on his mouth. Um, I'm going to add tweening on his arms because he moves a lot. So I'm just going to click here. There's two ways of doing it. You could go modify, I mean, insert time uh, classic tween. Or you could, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to convert it to a symbol because it's not a symbol yet. Okay, so now, it's, now let's see his arm. Oh, you see that happens sometimes. So if that happens, just go edit, undo change. Um, no, again, edit, undo change, edit, undo classic tween. Because if that happens, then you're screwed. So that might just happen if I tween it. So I'm not going to tween it. I, I think that's fun. Again, this is like a th three second uh quick edit it's not even a um it's main scene it's just like really fast so i'm just gonna delete him now i'm gonna click on this photo see that and i'm just gonna click delete on my keyboard he is gone there's ray i'm hoping i can make him a bigger let's see because that's a pretty big scene um let me go in here oh there he is darn it so he folder reappeared Um, so I'm going to delete the whole thing. Yes, delete them. Okay. Here we are. Okay, there we are. Oh, no. So, <laughs> so the stuff you got to really, you know, you'll have to mess with. So this is, I, all right, this is his other mouth. So I'm going to take out his other mouth here. So I believe it's, let me keep on going when it shows up. Okay. So I think it's this one right here. So I'm going to erase that. Yeah, that's my main mouse, so right here. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay. So here we are. Oh, man. So it didn't work on this one. Oh, God. 
So edit, undo change. So what you want to do if that happens, edit, undo change again. Edit, undo, delete layer. Sometimes what you have to do is deal with it. So I'm just going to delete this here. Delete. So I don't see it anymore. Keep on going. Delete. And like I said, you just got to work with what you have. And um, especially if you're doing kind of a short, oops, excuse me. Especially if you're doing a, a kind of a shortcut, you um, just delete it. So I'm deleting it from this mouth scene. I thought I could delete the whole mouth scene, but if I do that, then it's going to get rid of everything. Here it is. So that's fine. Okay, keep on going. This mouth is going to show up again. And why I'm deleting that again is because I made copies of his mouth. And when you make copies of his mouth, I made a mistake. And I think I made a copy within that layer. And so I messed everything up. And for some reason, it was hooked up to the other one. But that's okay. I'm just going to delete it all. And hopefully it doesn't show up when on the final editing. All this stuff I got to delete. So just delete. Keep on going. And he has movement. Okay, make sure, keep on going. Just grab everything. Delete that, or if there's something there. Keep on going right here. And this is just, sometimes a graphic will, image will fly to the other side. Okay, so there's no movement in here. I thought I put movement here. That's weird. Okay, let's add a little movement since we, we know we can't do any tweening. Let's add a little movement to them. Um, so, do run again, plus, plus. And this is at the very end, the very um, last. Oh, no, we got movement. Okay, so right here is just not movement. But you know what? Let's put movement here. I'm going to put his hand. Oops, I'm going to use, remember, you got to use a free transform tool to move this guy. So I'm going to bring his hand down like that. I'm going to add more movement. I'm going to do, uh, so in the principles of animation, there's pose to pose, and then there's a straight forward. I'm kind of doing a pose to pose right now, which means that uh, you got to almost draw every frame individually, and you can't do a tween. Um, because everything's going to be hopping all over the place, which is super frustrating. It takes longer, but that's okay. It's worth it, right? It's worth it. All right, let's go here. Go here, boom, boom. And then, da, da, da. Uh, let's bring his, okay, he comes him like that. Let's bring his arms down. Like that. Um, Cause now we're kind of doing a, Post to pose, which is individual frame, like the old days. Bring it up here. And bring this up here. We have to do that. That's all right. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. And move his arm here. Went psycho. Okay. Here we go. So boom, boom. Okay. Bring it down here again. So, yeah, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And um, so we're, I'm not going to tween because you saw that arm went flying to the other direction. I'm just going to do the old, old way, which is post, uh, frame to frame, post to pose. Okay. Go again like this. Home. And isn't this fun? Here we go. I'm having a good time. I hope you're enjoying it. All right. So we're going up. See here, look at his arm. His arm went all funky, so I got to bring this down again. Got to really watch everything. Um, it doesn't do this usually if you, oh shoot, here we go. It doesn't do this um, animate if you do it the right way. I didn't do it the right way. I'm, I'm kind of cutting corners, but that's okay. And I'm also, you see this here, usually this is just a scene, but I'm within the complainer scene. And I shouldn't have done that. I think that's what made the, made a mistake is that I did it within his scene. So I think that's why everything is hopping all over the place. I'll figure that out later. Um, but I think that's the issue right there. Oh, no. So you see that? 
So now I'm going to go back here, move that. And these are really fast clips. So you won't be able to really see it, but I'll see it. Okay. And all those other guys who are like, oh, you got to do a perfect man. You got to per perfect. They're going to see it. They're going to say, this sucks. Even though it's funny. This sucks. I don't think it sucks. I think it's funny. All right. And remember, it's all in the story, too. If it makes you smile, right on. And if you're enjoying it, even better, right? Okay. I mean, as far as a uh, creator, producer, the director, the writer. All right. So this is taking a little longer than I thought. All right. So here we go. Okay, that's good. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe we should move his... Um, <laughs> that's fine i like that okay okay uh oh there you go i gotta get rid of this again delete move again here we are make sure that his i want to move his body up uh, around but i'm afraid that it's gonna right here dump bump bump let's see That's fine. I think that looks good. Okay. Ooh, lots of stuff here. So get rid of this stuff here. And if that doesn't make any sense, again, sometimes when you're recreating or when you're creating stuff in animation, that pieces of the animation is going to fly to the right or fly to the left. And I'm not sure why that happens. I'm still trying to figure it out. Look, his arm is still off a little bit. So I'm going to move it. Like that. And I'm going to move this guy here. Okay. So. So now I really got to put. Oh. Here we are. Get rid of that again. And let's go back again. Get rid. Delete. It's already highlighted. Thank you very much. And I think that was the last one. Okay, so let's play it again and see how it looks. Control minus. And I'm going to save. You want to always save something because if you don't, if something was to crash, you're like, oh, my God, I just worked in this for hours because this takes a long time. All right, here we go. He's complaining. Yes, he's complaining. He's having a bad time. He's going here. Oh, found something. See that ear that, that, ear that just showed up? Follow it, and it's at right here so i'm gonna grab it delete okay let's look at it again one more time let's bring this up like that okay so we can see everything see this is a whole graphic and this god this is taking me a long time all right let's play here let's complain no oh, no 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 oh, again did you just see what popped over Popped out. There we go. Delete. There we go. Okay. No, no, no. I kind of wish. Oh, okay, God. Same again. Let's see here. Mm. Delete. Okay. I think we're going to get it all now. All right. Again, this is just a really fast animate. And let me see if I could. This is scary, though. But let me see if I can make him a little bit bigger. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Everything went crazy. Okay. So it's going to be this big. That's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and I am going to bring in a background and export them. So I'm going to go open and I'm going to bring in an older background that I have um, that that is the same as that scene um, that it's coming from. And so I'm going to go up here, and I'm, I don't think you could see this, guys. I'm sorry. But let me go here in my scenes, and I don't think you could see my... What I'm doing is I'm just looking for my scene real quick. And I, um, I'm sorry. I don't want to bore you guys to death in this section. So I would go get... It's not going to take long. Actually, I'll, what I'll do is I will we'll, um, fast forward this piece. So let me shut up and find it. Okay, let's see. Um, 
You know, it's really weird because it's not, I can't, it's not coming up. Okay, cancel. Why is it not? Oh, gosh. So you want to check right here all formats, not just one. Okay. That was my issue there. So backgrounds again. All formats. Let's see here. So file open. Um. Okay, it looks like it might not let me do that. That is so weird. So let me just use another background here because it doesn't, it does matter. But remember, I just want this to work. I want to be done with this scene here. Uh, let's see here. So no, no. So I'm looking for my JPEG, which is a background. Um... Boy, I hope it do, it lets me do that. Shoot. I hope I don't have to copy. Let me see if I copy all these and then place them again. I hope that I can do that. Shift, copy. And then I'm going to go um, uh, copy layers. And then I'm going to create a new scene and see if it lets me do that. God, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Oh, no. Let's see, though. Hopefully it does. Um, let's see. Insert scene, new scene. And then, hmm, i paste layers. Oh, yes. Yes, it worked. Thank you. Thank you. So do that if that happens. Yeah, it's still working. Okay, the eyes are gone. Oh, you might have to redo some stuff. But you know what? That's okay. So... Maybe I'm just not gonna put his eyes on. No, that won't that won't do well. Okay. So what I gotta do now is I did copy and paste, so this is good. So I have this now. Um, what I'm just gonna do is now I gotta redo his eyes because eyes and nose, everything falls apart on this part here. How far? Oh god, all his eyes are gone except for here. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to eyes and I'm gonna add his eyes now. See ears, what I do with his eyes? Oh, because I didn't copy his eyes. How is that? How did I not copy his eyes? Um, that's really weird. Let's see here. Go back to the complainer. There it is. Oh, god, look at that. You see, it's I created, I recreated the complainer. Uh, let me see here. Why didn't I copy his eyes? Eyes are right here. So let me copy his eyes now. Control. And hopefully I could do that copy. So let me go back to my scene. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it in there. Edit. Oops. Remember, you want to edit. You want to do it from here because you don't want to do it from there. Uh, paste layers. Yes. Okay. So you're good. Yes. All right. So we're good. Okay. Now I could add a background. I think that's why I couldn't add a background because you can't add a background in a nesting um, layers, which is a animation in between an animation. So we're almost done. So let me go import, import to library. There we go. There's all my cool back scenes. And I'm going to put one of the older back scenes, um, uh, backgrounds, because this was from uh, previous. Uh, from the last episode. So let's see here. It's none of these. Uh, let me go up again. Here's more background. It's one of these guys here. Where is it at? Um, God, I hope. I, okay, it's this one here. But it doesn't look. Oh, maybe I have to bring it in. It's a pink elephant. Darn it. So I don't have it saved as a JPEG. But that's okay. 
it's going to let me do it. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go uh, flan bit image, import, and then I should be able to grab it. Let's see. And where is it? Let's look up pink elephant. There it is. Um, no, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in another another background just so I could show you guys what I'm doing. So uh, imp again, import to library. Look at these. Let me just put in um something dark and all these aren't created yet so i usually do something to make it kind of look give that cartoon look but nothing really i don't think i did it for any of these so i'm gonna have to use another one and i might change it later but for now i'm gonna uh because i want to show you guys i want to actually complete this lesson um i'm gonna use um let me use this background. I think that's good. Because I think that will work. So, or should I use this background? I'm going to use this background here again. Okay, I'm going to just go open. And it should be there. Let's see, close that. And I'm not going to use this anymore. So I'm just going to erase these. I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm going to highlight them with shift and click, and then I'm going to get a garbage can. Because if you put too much files in here, you're going to get really confused. So let me go. It's Let's see. Where is it at? Thank you so much for taking a look at this with me. And that um, uh, let me know in the comments if you learned anything. <laughs> you learned how not to animate. Um, no, really. But... <laughs> And um, yeah, I mean, let me know. I, I'd like to know if someone's ex actually excited that our new cartoon is going to come in. There it is. Because um, I am. I'm very excited. Okay, I'm going to bring this layer all the way to the back because that's going to be the background. I'm going to um, layer it background. I think I did that already. So let me just erase this one here. So background, bring it in. And I brought it right on the bottom. There it is. Control minus minus. I want it to fit in. Here it is. And I'm going to grab Ray. I'm going to lock this one here. And I'm going to grab Ray with this here. And I'm going to print him on the ground. There it is. Just, I'm going to use the. There he is. And let's play him now. Oh man, you see that happen again. So the, if something happened like that, if it if it doesn't work, the edit, undo, change. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you grabbed everything. So I'm gonna just come up here and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna shift and I'm gonna shift some more and see if I grab all of them shift again shift try to grab all of it you know I'm gonna have to um, unlock this so I can make this bigger so I can see it and make sure that I have all of him yeah okay so shift shift And then I'm going to print it down. And we are almost done. I am just using the, um, I'm playing this easy, safe, I mean. I'm just using the, um, the arrows on my keyboard. Okay, so let's see. We highlighted everything, so shoot. So this still not might not work because of the fact that darn it. Uh this wasn't yeah, here we go. Darn it. There we go. Gonna work again. So what I have to do is do this again. I'm gonna say edit, undo change, edit, undo change, edit, undo move, edit, undo move. Bring this pointer all the way down here. 
Okay, now let's try it. Let's grab it again. Let's see, shift, shift. Boy, this gets a little tougher and tougher to do because you're like, oh no. So his body just didn't go. His body's not locked. So I'm going to try it again. So <laughs> this happens all the time. Uh, you just got to deal with it, right? And I'm going to grab it here. So let me grab it here on that keyboard and the body. And that's why you want to tween everything because if you don't tween stuff, what have this is what happens and let me bring his body down here and hopefully his body comes down no see now i gotta even though i bring his body down i still gotta move everything and readjust it so anyway <laughs> i'm gonna be working on this and this is gonna be done as soon as it's done then i will post it i'll post the, the ending result but welcome to animation, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you so much.